I'm a little unsure as to the locality of this specimen. What I see here is a, a pretty solid quartz matrix, crystalline quartz on the outsides of the matrix, all dusted with uh, tiny pyrite crystals. Now, what rings to mind, uh, localities I might, most likely would encounter in South Africa, Africa would be the, uh, um, the Trepka material from Yugoslavia. Well, I think it's now Slovakia, if I'm not mistaken. So it could very well be that, or the Peruvian um, uh, uh, pyrites, uh, also quite aesthetic. Uh, we also encounter quite a few of those. Um, all you, what you have here is the crystalline quartz, um, with the little pyrite cube sitting on the top. On the side here as well, you have a very thin layer of the crystalline quartz, a little pyrite cube sitting there. And then, of course, the most appealing to me would be this section. So from a display point of view, I displayed in like this to show off this quartz crystal sitting over there with all these little, this little family of the pyrite sitting in between. So it can be displayed on a turntable all the way around. Alternatively, it could be displayed this way up. I, I would actually prefer this way around. Um, and then, of course, can be displayed with the side up as well. Now, let's just follow the quartz crystals here. Let's see which direction they are all. They seem to be generating sideways up. So we'd, we'd maybe have it an angle like this, if you want to display this side. But I find this side a lot more interesting and appealing. Now, that's, you know, every guy's got their own uh, take on uh, aesthetics. And of course, my thing is here, we are looking at a pretty aesthetic piece. I really like this guy. Very, very appealing. I don't think it's a South African piece. I, I, maybe Trepka.